Cup World Championships the first weekend of November. So we thought we'd highlight some of the Breeders' Cup Classic contenders with one being Mixto. So Mixto comes in off of a fantastic performance at the Pacific Classic out there at Del Mar, the Doug O'Neill Barn, 22 to one. Mixto is going to probably be a long shot in this race as well, but what have you made of that horse? No one gave the four-year-old a shot down there at the Seaside Oval. You highlight the odds, and I think we'll be disrespected once again by the public, but has absolutely all the credentials to run a bang-out race. As Doug O'Neill told us, there's always been a lot of optimism in the barn. Just as the two wins from 14 career starts, both of those at the Seaside Oval. It was the freight train, Kyle Frey aboard for the ride, and what a performance this was. It wasn't the strongest of fields, so we're going to have to take a further step forward if we're going to get it done in the Classic. But if we can get the right pace set up, the right starting position from the starting blocks there, watch out for Mixto to run a monster and will be at a big price coming in for the Breeders' Cup Classic. Mixto will be at a good price. We've got the Breeders' Cup World Championships coming up the first weekend of November. 14 races over two days with the headline event being the Breeders' Cup Classic. $7 million on the line. There are still tickets available. It'll be over there at Del Mar where the turf meets the surf. And look at the options. The seating options are definitely something to none. All the way from general admin to some specialty seating there led by the one and only Michelin starred chef Curtis Stone. If you're looking for more information, head across to breederscup.com forward slash tickets. Mixto, the monster from the Pacific Classic, could be the one to take it all out once we get down there to Delmar. All right, let's get back out to Laurel Park, getting set for the fourth of the afternoon.